Hi everyone, it's Miss Erin. Welcome to October's Make It video. So for this month, we're focusing on spooky science and we have three different projects. We have the paper circuit project, which I'm gonna briefly demonstrate today. We have the static electricity project, where you'll be able to make your own creation float up using static electricity. And then we have a create your own haunted house or just regular house challenge using the supplies in the bag. So I wanted to demonstrate the electric circuit project today. I included this template in all of your kits. So this is something you can follow along with. Uh, there are great instructions for it online. I do encourage you once you've done this project to try making your own paper circuit. I know you only have one battery, but you can reuse the battery or if paper circuits are something you've already done to try and create your own right off the bat. Uh, try and make a card, whatever you would like. They're a lot of fun. So let's get started today. Uh, I've got our pumpkin template right here. The other things that we'll have from the kit are the copper tape. I've cut out a couple of pieces from my strip, the lithium battery, and then two of the LED lights. The things you'll need from home are tape and a pair of scissors. So the first thing I went ahead and did was cut two little slits in the eyes of my pumpkin so they're ready to push the LED lights through because the goal by the end of the project is that we'll have two LED lights poking through and lighting up. So let's go ahead and flip this over and we can get started with our paper circuit. So as the template shows, we're just gonna put our copper tape over the lines and then we'll put down our LED in our battery. So I've got my first piece of copper tape right here. You can see it peels off the back so it's sticky underneath. And I find it easier to unpeel as I lay it on versus unpeeling the whole thing and trying to lay it down. Now the corners are the trickiest part and I'm not going to pretend that I am perfect at doing the corners, but if you can, it's really best to try and keep your copper tape all in one piece instead of cutting it up and laying down three different pieces to go through the corners. So the way that I saw online to make the corners work a little better for you was to kind of fold your tape up towards the kind of the opposite way, almost at a 45 degree angle from the opposite way that you want to go. And then fold it over that and fold it back down. So as you can see, I need to flatten mine out a little bit here, but it goes around that corner and you don't have to break the copper tape. So I'm gonna smooth it as I go right along my line here. Then again, coming up to another corner. So we're gonna fold it sort of up and to the right. And it helps to actually push it down a little bit on the fold, I think. And then we're going to crease it back over. And run our line right along. You can see mine didn't perfectly line up at the end here, but I think it's still gonna work. So I managed to keep my copper tape all in one piece, which is the important thing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and tape it down. And like I said, it's not perfectly aligned on this bottom part, but I think it's still going to work. Um, I may just push my LEDs up a smidge. So this is a project that's kind of a lot of trial and error. Getting the copper tape down is pretty tricky, which is why I've included quite a bit in your kit and actually something that you can do if you would like is peel the tape back up so i don't recommend it unless you have to but it does come back up it's not permanently stuck down and you can use it to make maybe a bit of a readjustment in your circuit so i might push mine down a little bit more to get it a little more lined up here. So I've got my first piece done. I'm gonna grab my second piece of copper tape here. Get the peel off the bottom. And like I said, it just takes some practice. It just takes some patience. And if you need to peel it up and start again, that totally is fine. So let's start, I'm gonna line it up right here. 
And we've got our last corner, so overshadow a little bit. I'm going to peel it up away from the way I need to go, making that angle away, and then fold it back over to make my corner. Smooth it down, get it all lined up here. Go ahead and clip that off. And I have my copper tape laid down, so the trickiest part is done. You can see it here. So the next piece, I'm going to tape down my LED lights, actually. So you'll notice with the LED lights, there's one metal leg that's a little bit shorter. So that's the negative leg. So what you're gonna do is you're going to bend the legs from your LED out so your LED can lay flat on the paper and make sure you keep track of which side is the shorter side so you can match it up to the negative side here. I know this is a little hard to see with my fingers in the way. So here, you're gonna lay it down just on top of the picture. Now this is the part where you're going to take your tape and go ahead and tape it down nice and secure, making sure that both of the legs of your LED are on that copper tape. We'll do the same thing with this one. So this is my shorter leg. I'm gonna keep it up towards the top. Place it right where it shows me on the template. So you can see the LEDs are part of what is completing our circuit. They're stretching across the two pieces of the copper tape. But what really is going to complete our circuit is um, the battery, which we're going to tape down next, making the connection with the top of the circuit here. And then we'll have a full loop with the LEDs and the battery. So the last piece, now that we've got our LED lights down, is to go ahead and tape our battery down. So, like I said, the whole idea is that we're gonna be folding this down, so the copper tape needs to be able to make good contact with the battery. So you're not gonna to wanna to use a lot of tape here. And I should say, the writing from your battery, I know it, you probably can't see it with the camera, is going to be on the top. So you need to use, get your tape as close to the edge of the battery as you can, while still making sure it's secured down. And I'm gonna go ahead and do tape on both sides, just right on the edge here. All right, so the last thing to do is fold our pumpkin back over and push our LED lights right on through for our eyes. Get it nice and folded. Oop, starting to go before I'm ready. And then now that we have our LED lights poked through, our battery is lined up right under this press button. And if you remember from the other side, when we push down, it's going to push down that piece of copper tape and connect our circuit. So we'll press down. I know it might be a little hard to see. Let me pick it up here. And you can see, oop. You can see picking it up maybe doesn't always work as well. It's a little bit better to leave it flat on the ground, but for the purposes of our video, I'm gonna pick it up here and you can see the circuit is complete with those LED lights, making up one piece of the circuit and the battery making the other. All right, so then you have your very own pumpkin light up card. You can give this to somebody else for Halloween or you can keep it for yourself. I encourage you to color in your pumpkin um, and just have fun with it. And like I said, I've given you a lot of copper tape and I gave you, I should have given you four LED lights. Um, if you're short on anything, please let me know. But hopefully that will give you enough that if you would like, you can create your own paper circuit again and make your own designs. Thanks so much for participating in this month's Make It Challenge. Uh, please check back in November where we'll have another fun science project. Bye.